Today on the show, we're going to be doing a store bought hummus taste test. Spoiler alert, they all suck! suck. Let a real Arab American show you guys how hummus is really made. Hummus, hummus, hummus. Now to begin, add one cup of dried chickpeas or garbanzo beans to a medium sized bowl. Then add enough water to cover them by a couple inches. And let them soak for 12 to 24 hours. Here's what they look like when they're done. Okay, now that the garbanzo beans have soaked, we gotta cook them, and we're gonna use a slow cooker. So add our soaked garbanzo beans. Then add enough water to cover. And cook it on high for three hours. And here they are all nice and cooked. Hey, true authentic hummus takes over a day to make. I am not gonna film all of it. CRJ, that's too hard. Can't I use canned beans instead? Listen, if you want to take the easy way out, why don't you go watch Binging with Babish's video? The bowl of a food processor goes one can of dried and drained chickpeas along with half a cup each water, olive oil, and... <laughs> Please! At least try to make hummus from scratch from homemade garbanzo beans once. Trust me, the results will blow you away. Okay, now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, blending everything together into the hummus. So just dump our cooked garbanzo beans into a food processor. Oh, and uh, set a few tablespoons aside. We're gonna be using this for garnish. Okay, first ingredient, one third of a cup of the cooking liquid reserved from our slow cooker. Two to three cloves of garlic depending on how big they are and how garlicky you like your hummus. Three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. and one small quick dash of cayenne pepper. Follow that up with one third cup tahini paste. Do you have to use tahini paste? Yes, otherwise it's not authentic hummus. But I get it, it's not available in your mainstream grocery store or anything else for that matter. You'll either have to go to a halal supermarket or a super fancy organic food store. If none of that stuff is in your area, don't worry, I'll leave a link to this in the description. And one third cup of extra virgin olive oil. I dubs is a simp. Blend until smooth. All right, let's give it a nice taste test. And it's going to need a little bit more lemon juice. And just a tad more oil. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's still a bit on the tucky side, so we're going to have to let this go for a bit more. Okay, nice quick taste test. It's good. Next thing you got to do, transfer the stuff into a bowl. But not without removing the blades first. Grab a spoon and make it well in the middle like this while spinning the bowl. Let's garnish it with a sprinkling of paprika. A tablespoon or two of olive oil. And our leftover chickpeas from earlier. Heat up some pieces of pita. Uh, hey, CRJ come to you from post-production. Uh, you may have noticed that my hair looks a bit more curlier than it did at the beginning. Well, that's because I had to do a reshoot because the original audio, once I took it, sounded bad. And that's why this episode is delayed. And dig right in. And once you tried scratch made hummus, you'll soon realize that ingredients like cumin, roasted red pepper, and avocado are nothing but crutches. And uh, while we're on the topic, here's another Middle Eastern treat I made. Roll it. Uh, 
I swear these Arab memes are doing more to fight Islamophobia than any whiny leftist on Twitter. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun. And Mimi at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, hit the subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. I haven't been using this thing all that much. Let's change that.